That's how I thought. I knew when things were wrong with the Bible. I wasn't worried about authority because God was like the authority. And other than that, I got to tolerate you, but I, I, I'm not allowed to bow down. I'm like that as, as a child. So my parents didn't do anything wrong. They just wanted me to live a life that I wasn't going to live. They wanted me to be this, and I was not free to live a double life. I can't be that and be what I'm trying to be. What was that they wanted you to be? <clears throat> um, a part of their religion. Mm. They were uh, very devout Christian? in religion. Christian? Don't call it that. <clears throat> yes, a, did, a, a branch of Christianity, yes. At one point, did you become a Muslim? At one point, I became um, several religions because that's the only way you can really find out what's going on in a religion. Um, religion is not something that you can just study the books about it and now you know about them. Um, I had to be a member of the Fruit of Islam in order to know. Um, Minister Farrakhan calls me his son. I, I, I was not. Um, regular even in uh, that endeavor just because whoever the true God is I don't play about him and I understand that regardless of what you choose to call him it's the same entity and um, once you study all of the religions you find out that nobody's really disagreeing with anybody the Jews don't believe this whole set of things that Christians don't and Muslims either Wow. Okay. So that that what that's, year was that? This, this year, year. <laughs> oh, really? 2024. Um, Willie D. Willie D. Yeah. yeah it, was, it came D. out right after the Shannon Sharper one. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So that stuck out to me like a sore thumb. And mm -hmm. he said something very similar on um, Club Shay Shay um, about his upbringing. I believe his family were Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, they were. So let's start with that. When he asked him what was your faith, he said a, a branch of Christianity. Mm -hmm. Jehovah's Witness is not a branch of no, Christianity. Not but they call themselves Christians, though. Right, but they're not. Yeah, no, I'm, not I'm not saying that. 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. But Let me tell you why. Not, Let me tell you why. Themselves. So Jehovah's Witnesses believe something totally different about Jesus, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, the qualifications for a Christian, whether you think you are or not, is you have to believe that Jesus is God mm -hmm. and man, mm -hmm. right? They do not believe that. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. And all the cults. Um, uh, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, and all the other ones, they all are wrong about that piece, mm -hmm. right? Including some of your um, <laughs> friends that we've talked about in Christian hip hop. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you have to get that piece right to call yourself a Christian because yeah. he, in the Bible, it says very clearly if you don't consider Jesus 100% God and 100% man, you're in error because mm -hmm. you know, it means you, you're wrong about something. Yeah. Right. right? This so, would be helpful if you pulled out a scripture right now. Just so it would have been, been yeah. <laughs> but but um, so so um, they're wrong about that, right? They don't believe Jesus is God. Mm -hmm. They believe he's some sort of archangel or some some nonsense, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. so he wasn't a Christian. So let's get that straight. The second piece, what he said about all everybody's talking the same guy, they don't really disagree with each other. That is also false. That's yes. very false. Very Every false. single faith especially in comparison with christianity are contradictory you cannot Absolutely. say they all are the same yeah mm -hmm. G uh, christianity directly contradicts islam yep directly contradicts judaism mm -hmm. and 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 it's that way on purpose jesus said he was the cornerstone i'm the stumbling block you yep. have to get past me first mm -hmm. and they are all contradictory on who jesus is Islam says Jesus was a prophet, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, Judaism says he was a dude, a teacher, yeah. right? <laughs> um, every other faith doesn't acknowledge that he is God. That is the difference, the one mm -hmm. big difference that means that you can't all be right about that because he said he was God. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, that stuck out like crazy to me. What y'all think? I think you just said it all. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. You did. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah, he he just seems so. Um, he's all of his responses always seem shaky to me. 
You know what I mean? Like he's he. I guess maybe because he talks slow and tries to like really come off like. I mean, I, I know he's very. Man. I know he's very intelligent. Like he said, he was reading what three thousand books a year. I don't believe that either. Three thousand books. I don't believe that either. When I heard that, I was like, come on. He man, may have been. You know, them, them schools back in the day. You get a. a you read a lot of books. You get some pizza. Maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> or is it like a speed pizza? reader? You just do <laughs> um, thing with your fingers. He dropped out of school <laughs> at the age of thirteen. Yeah. So he was. So he was kind of. He could have been a genius. I mean, he said he was. was. He said he was going to the library every day, right? You can read three thousand books, but you don't have to finish them. You see what I'm saying? Like he can just go through. Oh, I went through this book. I went through this book. Three thousand. But you don't finish them. But how how do we know what type of books there are? Some of the books could be (laughs) Doctor. I mean, in the library, (laughs) it's hard to. No, no. Average like ten books a day, bro. Yeah, you can get through ten Doctor Seusses a day. Yeah, Yeah, oh, that's easy. Yeah, bears and bears. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't know though. I don't know. I'm not saying that happened with Cat Williams. Yeah, but I'm just that's saying, where you had to start. Right? Yeah, I'm just saying yeah. at a young age you got to start. Doing yeah. the same There's, time he was 13, moves on the back of the trailer, roll all the way down to Florida, was living on the street by himself, reading 3,000 books. So he, had, it, it was crazy. So I just don't, hey, man. I, I don't take everything he says. I, I take what he says to be an exaggeration. Yeah, everything is an exaggeration. Like. When he told the whole story about next Friday, come on, maybe, yeah, maybe it's true, maybe it's true, but some of it seemed like it could have been an exaggeration because why would he's he a good sp- storyteller? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And he and paints not, a picture, and I don't think I don't think yeah, he, he did a good job. I think he right. knows. He's he's than other people, I'll yeah. say this: I think he's smart enough to know that we're in a society today of um, hating on others, and you know, if you don't like somebody, and it comes out that that person cheated their way to the top, then they're gonna be like, "Oh, I hate him too." So he's he was good at yeah. especially in a club Shay Shay um, interview he was good at talking about people that he know a lot of people don't really mess with right now you know what I'm saying yeah. from Kevin Hart to oh, Steve yeah, Harvey yeah. to like I mean people may not like them so then if you don't if you don't like them I, I could say something bad about them and I don't people think like that. the general consensus is people don't like Steve Harvey they all have been on. Uh, Club Shay Shay. Yeah, he just came in on last, and they have. I mean, I heard that they did make responses, but, but a lot of people I don't, don't like Kevin Hart. Videos. So when he said Kevin Hart is an industry plan, I'm like, that's kind of harsh to say if you don't know his story like that. Like, well, well here's the thing. MC Nicer said it. Nobody said he lied. Not one person said he lied. Well, the only person Kevin that said Hart he said lied. That. Only person that said he lied for sure was um um our our guy in Atlanta. Luda, no, 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 um, no. The radio guy. Oh, Ricky oh. Smiley. Ricky Smiley yeah. said he no. I, I was supposed to be. Was it Money Mike? Was yeah, it? Money Mike. He was. He was supposed to be Money Mike, and then it went to. Ice, Ice Cube came out and confirmed that though. He yeah, said, but yeah, really. Mm-hmm. He came out and said that he wasn't be Money Mike, but when they saw Cat but Williams, it was like. But it's 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 clear to me that Cat may not have known that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, when you come into the story, but do y'all yeah. think he really <laughs> put in his contract that Ricky Smiley got to wear a dress? <laughs> I think Cat, I think Cat probably told the truth about a lot of stuff, but I think he also realized he had a platform to where the interview was going to be viral, and he knew what he was doing. I think he says enough truth to where you can't say he lied, but I yeah, think exactly. like you said, it's 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 eighty twenty. Yeah. It's an exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. An exaggeration. But I think, I, but I think also too is as somebody when you have power, you got to know. You got to know when to use it and how to use it. Yeah. Because then what ends up happening is when this dies down eventually and you realize like, oh, so this is really about your show that you got, that you're telling this so much truth that people go be like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go support Cat. You know what I'm saying? So I think sometimes it's like, like I'm not saying he didn't do it maliciously because I feel like he got blackballed. I, I feel like some yeah, people, some people turn their backs on him and he he got done wrong in the industry. But at the same time, you heard also you heard stories of people saying like, yo, he didn't come on time. He didn't do this. And then the industry is like, if you don't do this, if you if, enough times and, and that's it. So it's so many stories about him that you just don't know what is true and what's not the, true from people. The part I had a hard time believing was him talking about the drugs, how he's like, I've never done drugs. And I thought that was the whole reason why they were blackballing him because I remember when he was on CNN and they were like, "He's high right now." Like, this. <laughs> well, he he like, it's he crazy. said he never said he didn't do pot. Like he yeah, always said, he, oh, he, he just doesn't consider that drugs. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. He he said he said he never done okay. like hard. It drugs. was just the whole homeless at thirteen hopping in the back of a train going to uh, going to Florida. <laughs> 
reading three thousand books and doing all this stuff. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I seen homeless. Find it hard to believe. Homeless trip. Well, you, well, you know how your memory is when you're a kid. If your parents told you you did that, you yeah. kind of rem- it it like kind of installs yeah. a memory into you. So maybe yeah. his mom said that's what you did. He has an immaculate <laughs> vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. So He's like, a smart yeah. guy. I ain't, I'm not taking that from him, but I'm just like that's a, that's that's a little yeah. bit much. Or Yo, maybe somebody, it's true, and he's not lying about nothing. Y'all would say somebody in the comments said that um, <laughs> Willie D had that interview for months, but he waited. Yeah, to say yeah. It. Yeah, I, I could tell that because that if it sense. if it actually came out after they would have talked about the oh, cat, yeah, yeah, they would have yeah, talked the, about the Shay Shay interview yeah, yeah. and they yeah. didn't and I was like this ain't this ain't new you could yeah. tell it wasn't yeah. right. he missed or, out or, or maybe or maybe, <laughs> he, or maybe he or maybe the club Shay Shay interview did come out first and he saw how hot it was and was yeah, like yeah, oh, this is the time yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so yeah. end up end up being good because I don't think if that one would have came out first it would nobody would have cared it would have the height it was Shannon's production value and and how it looked and the fireplace in the background whoever's doing his videography is is really good color grade was good Shannon is really prepared as well like he he's probably I don't want to say he's the best interviewer because I've seen better interviewers, but I've never seen an interview as prepared as him. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah Whereas yeah. like, yeah. so I heard you did such and such when you was five. I heard you did this when you were 13. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, on December you 20th, you did such and such. I'm like, <laughs> how do you a, know yes, He's, 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 he's up interns. there with the, the Narwards and, and if you know who Narwards oh, yeah. He's is, really yeah, detailed. Yeah, Narwards, he knows yeah. stuff you're not supposed to know. Yeah. Um, like, I interviewed your mom. And it, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. So, but it challenged us. Uh, it challenged me anyway. I'm like, dang, are we not prepared? We just kind of like, so what do you do? So we got to get better at that. But, um, yeah. No, nah, but it, it was it was it was an interesting time. It definitely shook the internet. But again, the only thing that mattered to me was what he said about God. We got to clear that up, sir. Like, <laughs> we'd love to have you. We need to talk about that because I think. And what's always makes me sad is when Louis Farrakhan scoops up black people who need their father. Yeah, mm. every he rapper scoops is. up black people who need a father, and their father in heaven yeah. is begging for well, him. I, and he keeps stealing them. I, I think he. That. I think he mm. does that because he knows. The church don't take them as they are, so he will take so uh, uh, a Kevin Gates can come to him and, and still be Kevin Gates when he leaves. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not no like, come on, brother, you got to do better. You got to do better. And I'm not saying he's not saying that to these men, but for some, it's it's really it's very it's very like kind of what you talked about with sports. Like when you go mm-hmm. to an Alabama game, it's feel it's very connecting. It's feel very yeah, connected. Yeah. I'm connected with these people. Islam appeals to your flesh, so it's like. If you're a black man and you've been through the struggle and you've been yeah. through some kind of adversity, yep. yeah. and they are already pro black anyway, they come in, brother. They don't understand your plight and what you're going through and all that kind of <laughs> yeah. stuff. It's gonna make you feel like you're right at home. He's gonna speak your language and yeah. you're gonna yeah. gravitate toward that. Yeah. There's no well, Christians do need to do better mm-hmm. at you know what I'm saying dealing with people of color. I think, but I but I yes. think also just going back to the man part, it's just like I feel like like for for Christians. A lot, a lot of a lot of black Christians have to step up and know their theology and yes. know what they're talking about because then that's what you get a lot of people a lot of black men regardless of what people say are intellectual men For intellectual 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 yeah that's the word that word that night yeah. was but smart men that mm-hmm. is now looking for truth right and mm-hmm. really searching and searching and I think um uh, I mean, I think that's why we are created, and I think that's why, like, you know, we need that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We need men to be like men of the men of the church to step up and go. You know, let like, let's challenge. Not challenge, and you may not even know everything, but at the same time, know the truth about what you believe. Those yeah. who believe in error, like they be in error, but they sound so confident, yeah. and so believable with right. false information. Yeah, it yeah. just convicts you, like, oh man, he must he must be telling the truth. Mm-hmm. All right, let's come right back. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, your Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? I hope you like that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.